I think I just found a ticket, y'all. Yo, good morning, folks. Uh, you don't mind my face right now. I, I just woke up not too long ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and make this part of this video because I am kind of on that excited side right now. One of my goals lately has been to cut the find ways to cut the feed bill. So I want my goal actually is to get rid of the feed store completely. So what I've been doing these last couple of days, I've been prepping a garden, a father garden for my chickens and hogs. But I think I just found a ticket, y'all. This, my mom, I got my mom to check with a, a local grocery store and we hit the jackpot. All this produce, old produce, everything like tomatoes, watermelon, lettuce, radishes. What else we got over here? Potatoes. We got apples, like all this stuff. My hogs finna, and chickens, they gonna enjoy it. So, we got, what else we got down in here? It's so much, I ain't even went through it yet, but all these, two boxes full of stuff for $2. So, that's that's a plus. I'm still gonna um, plant them a, a garden, but I'll be able to get this stuff every day except for Sunday. Sunday and Wednesdays, I think that's shit. But that's a blessing, man. That's gonna help my feed bill drastically because I've been spending a lot on feed. So now, man, yes, I am so happy. I can't really beat it. It's a win-win. So I'm just gonna dump it over in there. You know, I'm just gonna give them, give them, let them have at it. Let them do what they want to do with it. And like I was saying, I've, I've uh, been prepping me a, a, um, a fodder garden. So what I got over here in this container, I got some, some corn. I planted some corn in here. And I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm also gonna plant them some cabbages and beans, like everything I got in my garden pretty much. I'm gonna plant them their own little garden for that. So. That should work out pretty good, hopefully. And I'm also, another thing I'm gonna do for him is start me a, what's the word? A worm, a worm bin, a worm farm. Start farming worms for him. It's also because I got a old refrigerator over at the property. And I hope that uh, AC not missing with this sign on this video, but I got an old, what did I say, old refrigerator? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with dirt, leaves, and all type of compost. And I'm going to dump me some worms, buy me some worms, dump them in there, and let them multiply, you know. And that'll be some extra well-needed protein for my pigs, for my chickens also. But once it, the more it multiplies, the more protein they get. So, hey. My plan for today is going to be, first, me and my mom, we're going to walk some dogs. Got her in on, uh, on the dog walk, and she, she ready to go this morning. She just got out. She worked overnight, but she want to walk a dog. So she's going to walk Joker. I'm going to probably walk Betty, Betty today. I walked Cowgirl yesterday. She walked Joker. I need Joker to stay in, like, top shape right now because, I mean, we got shows coming up, and... I'm gonna actually do 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 a, do a uh, video of the next show we go to. It's gonna be like you know uh, a full video of our show basically. So I'm gonna uh, yeah he got to get work a lot. So she gonna be walking him again today. I'm gonna be walking another one of the pups, which is Black Betty. Harley, of course, she's gonna go because she just runs ahead of us for like a quarter of a mile ahead of us and do her thing, having fun. She get the zoomies, do what she wanna do. She's pretty obedient, so her, I can do that with her. I'm gonna actually probably go ahead and give all this stuff to my hogs and a little bit to my chickens. Yo, this is 
gonna help me tremendously because I was actually trying to figure out a couple different ways to like, cause that feed bill is killing me, honestly, I can't even cap. So what I'm gonna do is go and go feed the animals. Me and mom's gonna go for a walk, walk the dogs, and I'm still gonna work on my garden my garden um my father garden so that's the plan for today what's going on mama what is it let's go get it let's go get it get it girl finally let's go finally yeah let's go finally oh you won't oh it's me Huh? It's me? Okay. That's what's up. Yep. But, yeah, we looked up and hit the jackpot. So, animals gonna eat good. As long as I can get this stuff, they gonna continue to eat good. And I'm not even gonna, like, try to ration it out or anything. I'm just gonna dump it all in there. Well, I'm not gonna say I'm just gonna dump it, but I'm gonna go, cause since I got the, the, the hog separated and put so much of certain stuff in one and the rest of it in the other, like, they all get the same things, but I'm gonna like separate it between two like this here, this bundle of radishes. It'll get separated between like the two pins and the same with the lettuce and everything gets watermelon and all that stuff. So that's what I'm finna go do right now, guys. And while my mom's eating, she's, she said she's uh, eating and then when she's done, we're going for a walk. I need to go brush my teeth and all that stuff. Give me a cup of coffee, but I'm just gonna go and feed the animals. I can do all that stuff when I get done. I'm over here at the farm. I'm gonna start by giving the chicken with a little bit of it. And then I'm gonna give the rest to the hogs. So let's go ahead and get the, figure out what the chicken's gonna get out of it. And uh, then I'm gonna uh, show y'all my garden, what I've been working on a little bit here lately so chickens hogs they finna eat good let's get it i've been fermenting like my chicken feed also sour and corn for my hogs and giving them pellets hog pellets but this is gonna be a game changer i want to completely get rid of the feed store i'm gonna i want to do the same with my dogs i'm gonna find me a butcher shop and i'm just gonna ask around until i find one that will sell me their day old meats and stuff like that and just like for the cheap this stuff two boxes two boxes full that's gonna last my hogs three two three days only cost me two dollars so i'm going tomorrow and get another two three boxes you know like you can't beat that but i'm finna get my my chickens tomatoes we got strawberries apples or uh, berries, like, they're gonna live it. I put them a little bit of the stuff out here. They got the tomatoes. They, they living on the tomatoes right now. The strawberries and berries and apples and what else they got right there? Lettuce. I also threw them from, this is my little compost uh, bin for them. Uh, I just, this stuff I'll be probably like just using in my garden whenever the time comes. But they go through and eat whatever they want out of it. And the rest breaks down, turns into great fertilizer and it goes in the garden. So win-win. Okay, uh, what else we got here? I don't really know how my chickens gonna do with radishes and whatnot, but yeah, I just, I just don't, don't know if I never gave them radishes, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a few in there. Hey, why not? We got our, got it. Why not? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll eat it. So, I mean, I'm just gonna put them enough in here. Enough. 
to, you know, one of my tomatoes there. Let me bust it open for him. But, yep. There we go. So y'all, I just realized I was recording, like, when I'm recording my YouTube videos, instead of having my camera facing up, like I'm taking a picture, I need to have it turned sideways where I'm like, you know who I'm saying. So anyways, I just realized I've been recording this video the entire time the wrong way. So uh, I apologize if, uh, like the first 10 minutes are just horrible footage because of my recording, like the way I was holding my, holding my phone. So um, it is what it is. I'm still gonna put it in there because I think it's great footage, but hey. Okay, so my boy Ruder here. Then we got Miss Ruby. I don't know where her babies are, but I just saw them like when I first got here. So yeah, they balled up in this little shelter I got here for them. They are skimming pigs. I want y'all to see the babies. They, they've they grown tremendously since I um, made that last video. I'm just gonna hop over in here so y'all can get a look at them. Hey mama. Hey, mama. <laughs> Trying to bite me. Okay, so. I'm finna feed you, girl. Give me time. There's the baby. As you can see. She don't want me to touch her. She just wants to smell my hand and stuff, but hey. Those are her babies. They've grown a lot. She ran up on me for a mommy. Yep. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> I gotta do some handling, some more handling with them. It's, it's been a minute, so they, they gotta, hey, you ain't bite my toes now. They gotta uh get used to me and I me, mean, I come out here and I come in here and I talk and they they eventually warm up and like try to try to come see what I want. Look at these two. Harley. Harley, quit that. But yeah, they'll they'll I mean they don't really come up to me, but the more I hang around in here, the the closer they'll get and the more how do I put it? The more they're not so so standoffish, I'm just gonna say that. They're just not so standoffish. The more I, I've come in here and just walk around and like when I was building this shelter here, it's it's like, <laughs> there they go, there they go. Harley, you quit it. But yeah, when I was building this shelter, they actually were hanging around pretty close. They wouldn't, um, like scared of any of the noises or anything they actually, well they were at first but then as like i forgot as i progressed on the shelter they were coming up a little bit closer you know examining checking things out now they sleep under here for the most part they still like to sleep right here in this wall or where she's at but for the most part they sleep under here now so I had to get them something for the rain because actually I had them over here, as you all know, they were over here in the spot that uh, that Ruder is in. But uh, what happened was Ruder actually broke in to this spot right here. He came in right here. 
and he's actually been trying to push out on it some more. So this is what he broke broke in here at, and uh, I caught myself fixing it, but he's obviously, obviously doing it again. What I did was I let them all out into the big uh, the big pen right here. I let them all out here and then I corralled him back in here and he's been in here for a few days. What he was trying to do though, he was trying to, uh, Ruby was, as wild house do, she was back in estrus or heat. So she was having her little heat cycle. I don't know if it's gone yet, but he was trying to breed her and um, uh, so I didn't want any more pigs right now. Still got six, six is enough. So, hey, I put him in here when they, um, uh, I mean, the pigs, the, the small pigs have access. They come through here and they go in there and they chill with the pops. They just go in there and chill with pops. And then when they get ready to come eat, they come back in here with mom. He doesn't try to do anything. He doesn't harm them anyway. Like he's, he's, he's a dad. So when, when uh, I think she's completely out of heat or whatever, I'm gonna let open this up here, right here, this gate here. I'm gonna take it out of here completely and just turn this into one big hog pen. They they will probably actually make this their mud hole, their wallow area because it's a lot. They 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 got a lot of little wallows in here. They got one there. They have one here. Where it's kind of muddy right here. They uh they got another one out there in the middle. I think they like this area to wallow. That uh, tarp over there is gonna come down because that's actually where I enter. That's my gate, but that's where Ruby had her babies, which is why it's up there. So, oh, uh, yep. Check them out, they nursing. They nursing now. But okay, back to it. I'm gonna, uh, like I said, go ahead and feed, and then me and mom gonna go for a walk with the dogs, and then after that, I'm gonna just work on fodder garden, you know, water my garden, uh, do some work on the dog yard. I gotta give everyone some water because I noticed yesterday a few of my few of my buckets were kind of low in water. It's been hot, so and then you got some that just like to turn their buckets and stuff over, so hey. But let me set the camera up and let's get these hogs fed. And her piglets out there, they were all just right here enjoying, but they went back, the babies went back to the shelter. Well, majority of them, we got two of them still out here. Uh, but yeah, they, they seem to be in hog heaven right now. So I'll take that. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go Put this in my burn, my burn barrel, and I'm gonna uh, go back to the house and wait on mom to get ready to walk these dogs. And after that, garden work. But ain't that nice? Just I do this. I go get a couple of days worth of this stuff, man. I won't have to buy feed or feed the animals for a, a minute. Like they'll go through as much of this, as much as much of this as they possibly can today, but they're not gonna eat all of it. And what they don't eat today, they can eat tomorrow. But they're gonna eat themselves selves full today. They're gonna get stuff. That's that's what you want. 
So I'm gonna let them enjoy. I'm gonna go burn this stuff. The chickens are cutting up, singing their egg song. So that means you got a few eggs in the coop. I'm not sure if I'm gonna collect those right now. I probably need to because I believe I have one chicken who's kind of getting a little cannibalistic and I don't need that happening. So I'm gonna probably go and collect whatever's already in there and just come back in the evening and get the rest. That's kind of how I did yesterday because I was supposed to collect, what was it, 14 eggs because I hadn't collected the day before and I hadn't collected the, yeah, I hadn't collected the day before and then the day of, I was supposed to have 14 eggs because I have seven hens. So I went to collect and I only had 11 eggs. One of the eggs had a tiny piece of shell on it from where I'm guessing one of the chickens ate it and just left a little evidence because that was all that was left, just a little piece. And so I'm guessing they ate three of them. So just going to collect my eggs throughout the day, you know, so they don't have time to eat them. Check this out, yo. Even the babies out there foraging, getting their forage on. That's what I like. I, love, I can sit out here and watch these hogs all day, man. They just... So fascinating. That boy over there is has grown tremendously. Like he's he's gotten big this since he's been um uh, since they've been separated. He's really he's really shot up. And he's pretty doggone friendly now. Come here, Ruder. Ruder. Come here, boy. Come here, Ruder. Come here, Ruder. Well, he just he he just thinking about food right now. Yeah, but yeah, I can touch on him, rub on him all day long. He loves it. I mean, that was a time I was a little scared of this dude, and I should be scared of him now. The, the sucker's got tusk and all that, but I mean, he got some real nice little cutters in there too, but. He ain't trying to use them on use them on me, so hey, what I'm worried for. Also, before I go, y'all ain't got a proper proper look at the garden, so so this is gonna be like this is what I've been working on. This is a patch that I'm gonna do for my animals along that backside. Also, I got another little like that'll probably be like a little row of corn or something, you know, just some small for now but it'll grow eventually we'll have like little garden beds all down through here and all over or whatever so that'll be nice this is my little garden that i have been working on lately i got beans along this back trellis we got a row of beans i'm actually missing one of my seeds i was watering yesterday and I don't know where, I know the water, the, uh, the water washed the seed out because it was actually sprouting, but I have no idea where it washed it to. I have not been able to locate it and put it back. So, oh well. But I got cabbage, my cabbage, some of them doing okay. The other ones are just, they hang, they holding, they holding on right now. So, got cabbage. What's that? Squash. Got squash right here on on this middle hill right here. Then over here on this one, I got cucumbers. The cucumbers are doing the cucumbers and the squash are doing the best right now. Got one cabbage plant that's doing pretty good. The rest looking a little skimpy. I mean, I know what's going on with them, but it's okay. Over here on this one, I don't have anything planted yet, but that's gonna actually be tomatoes. So, yeah, tomatoes are going there, and then I'm gonna plant some watermelon and uh, cantaloupe and all that different kind of stuff. But like I was saying, this is gonna be a little animal garden starting off. That's gonna be a little row of corn back there. I'm gonna like actually turn these into beds. I just wanted to get all that. Stuff out, I'm gonna line it with 
you know, make it look, it looks don't matter. I ain't worried about looking. I'm just worried about feeding me and my animals. I'm just gonna use like some wood and make some wood borders that way. Like there'll be semi-raised beds, not really raised, but you'll be able to distinguish the garden from the grass that needs to cut, obviously, because yep, my yard is pretty grown up. All of that is pretty grown up, but it'll get done. Got a lot of irons in the fire. It is what it is. Hardly mama's gonna get you about uh, sitting on her work desk. Uh, I'm currently waiting on her to put on, to change her clothes so we can walk dogs. But I want to just take this time, show y'all my other little project that I got going with this uh, four wheeler that this four wheeler right here that we've had for like since 2004 or something like that it's just i mean a couple of years it set up they set up these past couple of years because of uh, some like it wasn't nothing major wrong we just needed a gas tank cleaning the um carburetor cleaning it needed a new starter and a lot of little things were loose and needed replacing or whatever so hey you got all that, I got all that done, and she runs, she runs, she runs good too. Oh yeah, I lost the key, so had to get this little switch here put in. I love it, no key, just. Yep, she runs. So, that is what I have been using to run the dogs, but, um, okay, so after I got it fixed, what happened was the starter went out. I knew it was gonna happen because it was already showing signs of going out. So after I got, took it to a guy that I deal with, he fixed it for me. Uh, I got it back and the starter went out. So I ordered a starter, I put the starter on, and uh, now I also knew this was gonna happen now this back tire here is flat so yeah this one right here is flat and that one oh that was good still so i gotta get new tires i already priced them you're gonna get them sometime soon but new tires a new seat because the seat was just dry riding and just all screwed up so new tire new back tires at least no front ones the front ones are pretty good um uh, a new seat and a paint job and like decals of like swamp fire decals because that's my kennel name and this is gonna be my official dog road work machine so yep yeah, i'm pretty excited about that it's 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 got a little ways to go it's coming along because i mean it just sat it actually sat over here right here beside this building here for like two and a half, maybe three years. So it's in, it's just been sitting out in the weather. It's weather, it's got moss growing on it and all, but I'm gonna clean it up real good, get it painted. Probably gonna go with an all black, you know, black seat, black four wheeler, and then just put some Swamp fire stickers, decals all over, and like run the dog, you know. So hey, real excited about that. That's that's the project I got to finish. But I mean, tires definitely next. Got to get tires. But while I'm waiting on her, I wanted to show you guys that. Also, what's something else I got to show you? I want to show you. Hmm. I can't even remember right now. It was, it was something there, but it's gone. So hey, this is what it is. Like two or three times. Yeah, cause I just knew you weren't gonna go. Hey. Y'all ready? So mama gonna be walking dude here. I'm gonna be walking her. Little noise maker. Cowgirl, that's the one I walked yesterday. Back there. 
and uh, <laughs> Cherokee probably gonna be tomorrow, or either bad boy, bad boy here on the road. Well, no, not tomorrow, but next day it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I doubt we're gonna get any work done. But Snare Jane. <laughs> Come on, BB. Come on, BB. That's what you call BB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she couldn't resist. She loves dude. She loves my boy. Somebody, she told me yesterday was her last, her first and last time walking dogs with me. Now look at her. Now look at her. Just come on, baby. y'all so it's currently like 12 30. uh me and mom walked the dogs after that came home it's been a little minute since we walked the dogs came back drank me a, a couple a couple cups of coffee uh now i'm headed to do my garden work which is basically what I've been doing after after doing my hoeing, getting every, get prepping the actual site, all of these bunches of grass like this, and this, like this, I've been getting it, shaking all the dirt out of it, throwing it in the hog pen, letting them have at it. Before I start, let me show you guys something that's pretty cool. I uh, actually, Okay, this is a hole that had a post in it like that one. That uh, that was from when I had my horse here. So what I did was I snatched these these posts up. I left that one, I left a few around them. Like the edges, like got one back there. So, but what's pretty cool is I actually thought that these were yellow jackets that had built a nest in here, but it's not yellow jackets, y'all. I got honeybees. I got honeybees all around here. And they've chosen, I've been seeing them around the yard like a lot in the clovers and stuff. And now what they're doing is they got them a nest in this hole. So, that would be pretty cool if I can get some honey out of a hole one day. I'm actually allergic to uh, bees and stuff, but I mean, you don't bother them, they don't bother you. So I was gonna actually like, when I thought they were yellow jackets, they were they were about to get it. They were about to get the business. I mean, I was finna uh, grab the Dawn dishwashing liquid, load that baby down with dishwashing liquid and uh, spray it with water, <laughs> like fill it up with water. but. Realized they were honeybees. 
and I like honey, so I'm not gonna kill the uh, honeybees. They're good for good for all of this stuff out here. So still gotta burn that big pile there. Should probably get to it sometime this week. I don't know, but I'm gonna set up the camera. I'm gonna get to my getting rid of all of this chunks of grass and stuff. Mm -hmm. So there go the first pile. I actually, I had a, a big pile right here in this area yesterday that I went ahead and got up after I got all this prep. So, so I'm gonna take all this that I just got up and I'm gonna dump it in the hog pen and I gotta go all the way around there and get all that and that little bit there on that right there. So that's, that's my day's work I got all pretty much all of my grass and stuff from hoeing up and i left that pile back there and the only reason i left it is because it's full of ants they that was a pile i added a little bit more to it yesterday but that pile has been there since i started this little garden here and it's full of ants that's why i wanted to go ahead and get these up so they wouldn't be the same way and so far it's looking pretty good. I got them all up except for that one. And I'm gonna go dump this in the hall in the pig pen like I did with the rest of it. I've noticed I did not know this, but the hogs they love this stuff. I have a yard full of it, so that's a good thing. Just gonna put that in there. I did not know they liked it until I saw until I saw Ru Ru Ruby. Ruby was eating it. I dumped my last bucket fools in there, and that's the first thing she went for. So I'm gonna be feeding them a lot of that because I got a lot of it growing here. And anything to cut the cost on the feed bill. Hopefully, one day in the near future. We'll be able to get completely away from the feed store. That's the plan. That would be great. That would be freaking awesome. So I'm going to take this and that bucket there, and I'm going to dump it in the hog pens. And like I said, next I'm going um, to go ahead over here to the dogs and get that done. Before I dump these, let me go ahead and show you guys something I worked on last week. I mean, y'all already see it, but I hadn't formally introduced it to you guys. So here we go. This is my practice wall for Joker. And I've been training some of the pups. Well, all of the pups, actually. I've been training them to do wall climb. But this is the wall it is like a little bit over 13 foot closer to 14 foot when i put the the tug all the way up to the um the ring that is running through so wall climbing walls are like 15 foot max that's pretty close to to max he's only getting up to like 11 foot so we are not really worried about, I'm not really worried about going in higher on it. So unless he, he gets to the point, <laughs> which I doubt it, but he gets up there and starts reaching that, that ring at the very top, we're going to have a problem. That means I'm going to have to get up there and add some more, add a whole another section to make it another foot and a half, something like that. So, but 
this is the setup. I got this, this rope here. I pull it to the height I want it. And I, then I got it attached to this weight. So when I sit the weight way back here. So when um, whenever they get up there and they grab it and they come down with it, the the weight it, it adds resistance and they come they don't come down flying so fast because there's been times where they've come down so fast and almost knocked me out and bust my lip and all type of stuff the actually the first top dog show that we did me and joker he busted my lip at the show so and I mean, I wasn't using the harness system with him, so that was why, I mean, he just gonna come down fast regardless. But here I wanted to have some resistance, acts as a counterweight. I've also lately, well, the last couple of days, I have been working on this brooder. It's still got quite a, let me go on the other side. I got a lot of junk up there on the porch, that, but it's going to be, it can be used for rabbits. It can be used for small chicks. That's more than likely what I'm going to use it for, a chicken brooder, because I plan on getting some more chicks soon. And I really want to get some broilers, but I also want to get some more laying chick, more laying um, chickens, laying hens, but I want to get some ostr ostrilorps so Whatever, however you say it, I think that's it. But I want to get those, and this is where I'm going to raise them the first few weeks. I have to finish it. I got to put a top on it. I got stuck when I got to the top because I don't really know how I want to do the top at this point. So I'm going to figure that out, and I'll put a top on it, and then we'll have baby chicks. So, hey, more animals coming to the farm soon. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and I'm going to just, like I said, water the dogs, and I'm going to call it a day. Water the garden, water the dogs, make sure the hogs got water in their wallows, and that's it. It's been a been a productive one, but I think I'm going to also go, and, go ahead and go start seeds for this fodder garden for the animals and Go ahead and get those ready, get those growing. So my phone just alerted me that my battery was dying. I mean, not my battery, but my storage is full. Also, my battery, my battery is dying, but my storage is full. So that's going to wrap this one up, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, y'all stay safe. Y'all be easy. Have a good one. Stay productive and connect with Mother Nature. Walking around barefooted, that's the best way to connect with her. So, like I say, see y'all on the flip side. Peace.